Howdy yo guys, Mark Absalon here. Whew. Hope you're having a cool and groovy day. Welcome to Tips and Tricks, and in this Tips and Tricks video, we're going to talk about something on YouTube that's been around for a while. They recently updated it. They're called annotations. Now, annotations are not a cute little fuzzy animal you buy at the pet store. They're not some weird constellation in space. There's something that's totally relevant to your videos on YouTube that'll help you to get more views on each of your videos, add interactive features, all kinds of cool things. And we're gonna talk about how to do this and more when we get back. You guys are wondering what is an annotation? An annotation is a post post add-on to your video within YouTube. You can actually add links, add text, all kinds of cool things that you can go in sometimes and click with your mouse to take you somewhere else. So it's really cool and groovy to have this in your video. Now there are different uses for annotations in your videos that are out there. I mean, you can, it's only limited by your imagination. You can use them to actually get more exposure on your videos. Like if you click this video right up here, it'll take you to an interactive video using annotations. If you click this, it'll take you to a video about film noir, so you can learn the film noir experience. Or if you click this one, it'll take you just to some random video. But let me tell you, if you click these, you're not gonna be able to watch the rest of this video, so you might wanna hold off for a minute. Other uses for uh, annotations within your video, you can use them to add things that you may have left out. I've done that myself. If you screwed up, you can just put this text over your video so that you can uh, correct that mistake. You can also use them to create interactive videos, like game shows, all kinds of cool things, like interactive stories, like choose your own adventure type stories. It's only limited by your imagination, so there are lots of different things you can use these for within your videos. Now these guys have been around for about eight, nine months. It's been around for a while, but just recently YouTube has updated the feature itself to include four new things that I've noticed that are really cool. The first thing is you're able to actually edit your annotations in your main page video with this little add-on editor. It's a little buggy, I gotta admit, but you know, I'm sure YouTube's gonna fix it over the like, next few weeks or so and probably correct all the problems. Another thing they've done too is they've allowed you to send out a link to your video with annotations on it so that other people, other YouTubers that you send it to can add stuff to your video annotation-wise. So that's another cool thing. I mean, it can be a bad thing or it can be a good thing. It just kind of depends on how you look at it. Now, the third thing that YouTube has added to the whole annotation uh, type update is the fact that the text that you could put, you know, to correct certain things or tell people about different things within your video, they've changed the background color. So it's not this bland, you know, gray text. The background now you can change to red, to blue, to all these multiple colors to make your statement stand out from your video so your viewers can see it. Now the fourth thing they've done is they've allowed for multiple link type add-ons that you can click within the video. Before it was just, you know, um, videos and uh, I think they did playlists before, but now it's not only playlists and videos, you can do composite emails, you can do all this crazy stuff within YouTube. That's the whole thing about these annotations. They only work within YouTube. You can't just, you know, type in a link there for uh, uh, your website or another video on another website and think it'll come up when it's clicked within the YouTube video because it doesn't work that way. It only works within YouTube. Now that we've talked about the new features that YouTube has added to annotations, let's actually talk about the general basics of each of them within your video, that you can add within your video. There are actually four different types of annotations. The first type is called a speech bubble. Now a speech bubble is set up like a comic book type text bubble. It comes up, you can put it on your individual within your video or some inanimate object, or you can just put it up randomly on your video. You can do whatever you want to with it. Now. You can add text to this. You can also add links. Now the links are only within YouTube. And the links can include 
a video, it can include a playlist, it can include a channel, it can include a composite message, it can include a group within YouTube, it can include a collaborative annotations, it can uh, also include video responses that were uploaded. Uh, and then lastly, it can include a uh, YouTube search query. So you can add a whole bunch of different things to each four of these. Now let's talk about the second one, number two. And number two is a note. Now the note is specifically for adding text. Uh, like I said, with the note, you can change the actual background color too. Uh, so it's it's kind of neat for that and you can link those with all the links in the first one too now The third annotation is called a spotlight now spotlight is kind of like a transparency overlay You can place this over something like if you're creating an interactive game over buttons within that interactive game Now you can have a spotlight with or without text it kind of depends on what you want to do with it now also with the spotlight, you can add all the different links that I mentioned in the first one too, which makes it very beneficial for if you're actually creating an interactive game. Now the fourth annotation is a pause. It's actually just a pause within your video. And you can use this with, uh, with uh, an interactive game or whatever. But we've gone over all the different ones, so you know what an annotation is, you know how it's set up. Let's actually go into YouTube and show you how to put one on one of your videos. Adding an annotation to your video. Well, as you can see, I'm on my main page here. Let's go down a bit and let's click one of my videos. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the on-screen editor that YouTube has developed uh, for annotations. Um, that you can use on your, you know, your main page. It's not my preferred one, but I'm going to show it to you really quick and how it how it works. Okay, we go to the main video, and as you can see, it's already come up. It says annotations editor. Uh, it's got a little target here on the screen as to where you can place your annotation. You just click, and then you select the type whether you want it a speech bubble, uh, a ad note, or a spotlight. I'm not going to put anything on this one. Uh, and here on the bottom too, you'll see a toolbar that will come up that says uh, previous annotation, uh, the actual ad annotation, or uh, uh, the next annotation. Uh, this thing's a little buggy. Um, YouTube is still trying to work it out. And they probably will in a few weeks, so it'll probably work fine. Uh, the main reason I don't like to use this one is the fact that it doesn't have the times on the side as to where you actually place it. So what I do is I go down here, and since I'm the video owner, uh, you'll see edit and edit annotations. You click that, and it brings up your annotations here. Uh, the whole thing with the timeline as to what time it's going to be up and everything. As you can see right here at the top, we have one. You can move it around, you can reshape it, you can do whatever you want to with it. Um, this one, you'll see when I click it, you get a toolbar. Now you can change what type of annotation type it is. You can add a link, whether it's to a video, playlist, channel, you know, you name it. There it is, and uh, you just copy and paste it in here. But it has to be on YouTube. If it's not on YouTube, it's not going to work. So you can't put your website or uh, any other link like that except for something that's on YouTube, whether it's your YouTube channel or whatnot. And uh, you click Save. But we're not going to do that at all. But we are going to go to this next one here, which is the color change. We're going to click that. As you can see, you get a drop down menu of different colors you can select. Let's change this blue. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And let's actually move it up here to the top again where we had it. And since we've changed the color, we need to save this. So you want to click Save. And then you want to click Publish so that everyone can see it. And uh, if you didn't want it, you can just hit the trash can, which uh, obviously that's delete. Well, since I've shown you a little bit about this, let's actually make one now. Let's make a, another note, because we've got all four of them here on the bottom. Pause, spotlight, note, and the spe uh, speech bubble. But we're just going to add another note. As you'll see, it'll come up. You can add your text over here, or you can add your text over here. It doesn't really matter where you want it. Uh, you can not put any text at all if you didn't want to. It's just kind of up to you on that matter. Um, 
I add text because there's a reason to have it there. So let's call this Mark Absalon uh, gave me free stuff. Stuff. Gave me stuff. It should be free. Let me fix that. Get some nice dyslexia here. Okay, we can reshape this to any shape that we want and place it anywhere on the screen that we want. Let's uh, go ahead and change the color of that to red. That looks cool. And uh, let's move that over here to the side. Now, as you'll notice, when you we actually created it, we created one here on the side, of course. And you have this little uh, two little boxes here on the bottom. That's a timeline. And as you have hours, minutes, and seconds as to how long it's going to start on the when it's going to start on the video, and when it's going to stop. Let's go ahead and change this to five seconds, and let's bring that down to one, and let's have it up there for nine seconds. And let's bring that down to one. Okay, so this annotation is going to start at five seconds and end at nine seconds within the video. And uh, let's play that, and you can see it pops up. Mark Alson gave me free stuff, so it's kind of cool. And of course you can move it around and it doesn't affect it at all on the time timeline here so it stays the same and you can also see the plug in here as to how long it's going to last in the video well let's trash this because I'm not going to keep that in the video but you can add as many annotations to your video as you want but you do want to be cautious because it's like effects if you use too many of them it's going to look cheesy and here on the bottom too, you'll see the shared link to invite others to add annotations to your video. And you can copy and paste this and send this to people so they can add annotations to your video. And I may do this in a uh, upcoming video and let you guys actually add annotations to it and see how it looks. It could be links to your video or anything of that nature. Uh, so uh, it's, uh, it's kind of cool. And as you can see when you click that, Microsoft Outlook opens up and you can email it out to those people that you want to... Uh, to send it to so that's a neat thing whoa guys i hope you've enjoyed this video you've learned a lot about annotations on youtube there's a lot of cool things you can do with them interactive games increase the views on your video by adding them so people will click that and go to your other videos there's just all kinds of cool things you can do if you actually use this go ahead and put it as a video response to this video so that i can see what you did because i'd love to see some of your work um also, let me just talk about this really quick too. A lot of you guys might not know about it. We're doing a subscriber-based contest. Every 10,000 subscribers, uh, 20, 30, 40, 50, all the way up, we're giving away some great prizes. Uh, it, it's going to be some really cool stuff, and the prize is just going to get a lot more expensive, so it's worth entering this contest. How do you enter it? You subscribe to Mark Absalon's channel, this channel right here where this video is on. Uh, you can subscribe with however many counts you got. It'll increase your odds. You can comment on my videos. That's another prize we're giving away too is by commenting on my videos. Random commenter is going to be chosen. Uh, the comment might be from this video. It might be from a video I did a long time ago. You never know what it's going to be on. Uh, you can also add me on MySpace. So guys, I just want to tell you about the contest too because it's something that you might want to do because there's some cool stuff giving away. Uh, if you want to actually see what we're giving away uh, right now, go over to this and click this and you can actually see more about the contest and uh, see what the prizes are for the range that we're doing right now. Uh, also go over to markapsalon.com right here. Check out my other stuff I have on my website, my forums, everything. Uh, also check out my training DVDs. My training DVDs uh, cover everything from lighting to chroma key to basic cameras to techniques to advanced camera techniques. Everything you need to know to make your videos better. And by actually buying them, you're helping me support shows that I do like this here on YouTube. So guys, I appreciate this. You guys are great. I'm Mark Absline. Keep the annotation videos coming because I want to see them. And if you want to see one of mine too, you can click right up here. Well, I'm Mark Absalon, and uh, I'm out of here.